good morning children welcome to maths class so in maths we are solving the problems of block 25 which is time on a clock isn't it and in the previous topic we have estimated the time isn't it so what are the activities will be done in seconds and what are the activities will can be done in minutes and what are the activities we do for hours that we have learned estimating the time yes so in the second topic we are going to learn how to tell the time that is telling time okay so if you see children this is your clock yes so on this you have the numbers from 1 to 12 in this order 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 yes and if you see you have small lines in between from 1 to 2, there are 4 lines in between. 2 to 3, there are 4 lines. 3 to 4, there are 4 lines. Yes. So, in between all, in between the numbers, you have 4 small lines. Isn't it? Yes, you can observe in your clock also, at home also. Yes. And you can see a small hand and a big hand. Isn't it? A small hand and a big hand on a clock the small hand is the r's hand h o u r r hand and the longer hand the big hand is your minutes hand okay the longer the big hand is there no the long hand that is the minutes hand the small one the short hand is r's hand okay so whenever a small hand is low pointing to any number and the longer hand the big hand is pointing to 12 then it is the number the short hand which pointing that is that clock that means this is six o'clock so short hand is pointing to six and the long hand is pointing to 12 that is six o'clock and if the smaller hand is pointing to eight and the longer hand, the big hand is pointing to 12, then it is 8 o'clock. Okay, 8 o'clock. Okay, children. So, 8 o'clock, how you will write 8 o'clock? So, 8, you will put two dots, which is called as colon. 8 colon two zeros, which means the longer hand is pointing to 12. In this way also, you can say, or you can say it as 8 o'clock. In this way also you can see. Okay. 8 colon 2 zeros. That means 8 o'clock. Or you can simply write 8 o'clock. Okay. There will be a small quote here. Inverted commas will say. A small one. Only single quote. Okay children. So in this way you need to write the time. Or tell the time. Okay, now let's see the questions in this topic. Draw the following time. So, they have given the time. We need to draw the clock. Okay, 3 o'clock. So, 3. The, that means the short hand will be pointing to 3. And the long hand will be pointing to 12. That means 3 o'clock. Okay, next. 5 o'clock. So, 5 o'clock means the small hand. The short hand will be pointing to 5. And the longer hand, the big hand will be pointing to 12 so 5 o'clock okay so in this way you need to draw the given time now let's see uh, read the time in the given clocks and write it in two ways that means here they have given the clock you need to write what is the time it is okay so look at this so there is a clock where the small hand the short hand is pointing to 3 and long hand is pointing to 12 that means it is 3 o'clock so two ways you have to write that is three o'clock or three three colon two zeros okay now let's see the next one so here if you see the short hand is pointing to two and the longer hand is pointing to 12 isn't it that means it is two o'clock so you will write two o'clock and two colon two zeros that means two ways we have to write now two colon two zeros okay so for given time you need to given clock you need to write the time okay so write this in your classwork children if you have completed again you write it down because next in next classes we'll be reading about minutes and seconds also so if you practice well this time now it will be easier for your further classes okay now 
this is your class work coming to your homework complete the volume book children if you have already completed okay leave it if you have not completed complete now volume book 3 page number 46 as to telling time okay so in the next class we will learn the next topic children see you in the next class bye